G'day Barry, um, this is Drew here from Forward Speed. Just having a look at your carburetor now. Uh, if you've got a minute, we'll just go over a couple of things. Um, I'm not sure how how well this might have been running or if it was running at all since um, someone had toyed around with the carburetor, but uh, there's a couple of things I'll just point out. Um, this is the, uh, the, the soft idle, which is uh, ill-adjusted and it won't let the butterflies come back uh, to, to idle I don't think properly so I'll just need to tweak this and adjust this to get that okay but uh, let's go on um, the linkage I don't know if you can see it but there's a little bit of movement on the shaft to the uh, linkage plate here and uh, I normally get that uh, TIG welded. This is a steel uh, shaft onto a steel plate, and we can just get that TIG welded so it won't it won't move. That'll affect the idle quality and the throttle response off idle. But uh, anyway, uh, next item is that the accelerator lever moves a little bit. But the accelerator pump uh, barely moves, and it should move quite a bit when you give it just a little bit, so it would have had a massive flat spot. Uh, moving along, this is the lever for the... Uh, they're like a, a vacuum slash mechanical secondaries, and this is supposed to move very freely, unfortunately. This rod here is back to front and bent, so I'll have to rectify that. Uh, the secondaries would not have worked. The choke butterfly is free to flap around. Uh, over here, where it's hooked up to the choke linkage, um, it's not lined up and it's also missing a bolt holding this. And this is uh, free. Ooh, sorry, <laughs> it just came off. Uh, so that was free to move around. Uh, I should have another bolt, so that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so your choke uh, was probably not operational. It's a heat choke anyway. So unless you've got the heat hooked up to the intake manifold, uh, then uh, it wouldn't have worked as a choke would normally work so normally you just spring load it so it's open and uh, and so I can I'll discuss that with you if you want if you want a working choke or if you just want me to have it uh, permanently open I saw your repair here looks a little bit ordinary and and you claim that it leaks I believe you and so uh, yeah the new top will fix that the new top will pretty much look identical, so it'll be difficult to tell that it's you know not going to be the original lid off the carburetor. Anyway, we've got a couple of things to do, and all one of these uh, carby nuts fell out of the mechanism over here. This is one of the nuts that would have held the carburetor to the intake manifold, so I'll just keep that aside. So. Uh, Everything else, I haven't pulled the carby apart yet, but I just thought I'd let you know of a couple of things that I found. And um, that that screw there is, is sitting proud. That shouldn't sit proud, that should sit down lower. Um, that screw is also sitting proud. That should sit lower than the surface. That's, yeah. Not sure. Looks as if he might have put washers underneath there, but that's that's a big no-no. Uh, looks as if it might have been leaking a little bit of air at the back here from where it was sitting up above the gasket. Anyway, we can uh, we can either rectify that by putting different screws or deleting the washers and seeing what's happened there. Uh, in any case, um, we'll. I'll, I'll get it apart and I'll report any other issues to you. See you, Barry.